Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and in this video we have a product review for you and that product is this. This is the Kessel A160 WE Tuna Sun Light. Just to be clear, we did not pay for these lights. Kessel sent them to us as a test and evaluation product. And so we're gonna put these on the 75 gallon that Joanna just redid. I think they're gonna look awesome, so stay tuned. All right, so as I mentioned, we got a couple of them. Here's one of them. And what I wanna do is I just wanna spend a couple minutes talking about how we get this to look like this, how we put it together, and then I'm gonna show it to you on the tank and we're gonna talk about the features. All right, so here we are at the 50 gallon low boy table. And we've got our light here. And so we're gonna go ahead, open this box up and take a closer look at it. I think one of the things that's gonna become very obvious as we start to do the unboxing is that there's a lot of quality and a lot of thought that goes into these lights. So you open up the box and here's what you see. Uh, we have a Kessel sticker, which is pretty cool. And then we have some very thoughtful packaging. Uh, the first thing, you open up one side and you're going to see a power cord for the light. And so here we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna need that later. And then we have the light itself and also the extension that's gonna eventually go into the adapter. Now, light is packaged. You've got the little piece of foam. Now this is a really awesome light. You can tell right away as we're looking at the light, a lot of quality here. This is a nice, very solid body. Here is the light source. And then on the top, we've actually got some dials where we can adjust not only the color, but the intensity. And these dials are very high quality. They, are, they turn very smoothly, awesome. This area here, what we can do is if we have lots of lights and you want to run them, let's say on a larger tank, like maybe a six foot tank. Now this particular light would be better for the 75 that we're going to do. But if you had a lot of these, you could run them in series and run them directly to a controller that I will show you in a few moments. But very high quality. So we've got the cord, we've got the light itself. And then also in here, here is our adapter. And with a high quality light, what we would expect to see is that this thing is removable. If something ever happens, we can replace that piece and not have to replace the whole light like you would have to do on some of the less expensive lights. The other thing that you're gonna get, and this is really important, you've got this little bag here. And this little bag actually houses a couple things. One, there is a small adapter for this light. So you can just, there's little tiny screws here and those screws go right into the light. I'll show you how that works in a second. And then we also have these hooks in case you wanna suspend them from the ceiling instead of using the gooseneck that we're gonna be using in this video. But this little bag, you don't lose the parts because this gives you everything you need to attach the light either to the ceiling or to the gooseneck adapter. So we also have a set of directions and they're very, very easy to read, very straightforward, takes you step by step. So we've got the little booklet here. And then we also have our little warranty card. If you wanted to fill that out, you could do that as well. And I think that is it when it comes to what's in the box. So that's the light itself. Now, obviously, we've got what we need if we just want to suspend the light from the ceiling. All we would need at this point is maybe some fishing line to go ahead and suspend it. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're actually going to take the light and we're going to use the gooseneck to hang it from the back of the tank, wrap it up and around, as I just showed you the, the picture of the light that was already put together. So I'll, let me go ahead and I want to show you that as well and what comes in that box. Now, the next thing we have is this. This is the Kessel Gooseneck Adapter. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing any of this stuff, I will put an affiliate link down in the description below. Also, if you want more information, you can find that in the description. So what is in this box? Let's go ahead, we'll take a quick look. The first thing is we have this, and this is the bracket that's actually going to sit on the rim of the tank. Nice, very, very solid, very well made. The next thing we have is this little bag here. Now there's a couple things here. One, we've got the screws. We have some zip ties so that we can zip tie the cord when we are ready to run the light. We have this little plastic piece here. I'll show you what that's used for. And then we have a larger adapter and this larger adapter is used for the larger lights. We won't need it with the size that we have here, but if they were larger, they would be necessary. And then after we open up this box a little bit more, we have the actual adapter itself. And so here, this is the adapter. This is extremely high quality. Uh, we can bend this thing into the shape that we need in order to get the light so uh, in the proper position. So I'm gonna show you how to screw all this stuff together real quick and then we're gonna see what the lights look like on the tank. 
All right, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to take this adapter and get this ready so that it can sit on the back of the tank so when we attach the gooseneck adapter, this thing doesn't just fall over and wobble. Now there is this plastic piece here and you can see that it's got two screw holes in it. And what we're going to do is you see the slots here, we're gonna go ahead and match these holes in the, in the plastic piece to the adapter here. And then we get, we have two of these little plastic screws that came in the back. The next thing, is we have these two larger screws. Uh, these ones are gonna go on the back side and they're just, for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and place them in. Just screw them in enough so that they stick to the back because once this thing goes on, we're gonna have to probably make some adjustments and we wanna make sure that we have the space to do that. So I just kinda left this just like this for right now. Next, we have the gooseneck adapter and this is gonna go in and just screw right in. Just like this. And now what we can do is we can bend this whole thing over and you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like here. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna straighten this thing back out because the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and attach our light to the adapter. But before we do that, there's a little bracket that has to be attached to the light. I wanna show you how to do that. So to attach the bracket to the light, that's when we're gonna need this little bag I told you don't lose because there's a tiny little adapter piece that we have right here. And so we need this piece right here in order to attach it to the light. And then we're also going to need the tiny little screws that come with it. And they are very, very small. So I would do your very best, try not to lose these little bitty guys. I don't even know if the camera can focus on them, but they are absolutely tiny. All right, so now our goal is to get this little piece and to do that, to connect it to the light, we're gonna go ahead and match it up with the little holes. Now I've already got one of the screws in here. These screws are very, very tiny, but they do have a space for a small screwdriver. Now I found you can just go ahead and tighten these things up with your fingers and that is pretty much sufficient to get it tightened down properly. And then all we have to do is attach the gooseneck to this part once we have both screws in here. And so let me show you that. All right, so now I've gone ahead and I've screwed the bracket into the back of the light. The next thing we have to do is attach the gooseneck adapter. That's actually relatively simple. We just screw it on, just like this. And now it's attached. We can go ahead, we can bend this thing over, and you can see here we have the light ready to go. So the next thing we're gonna to have to do, let's go ahead and get them hooked up to the tank and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, so what I wanted to do is show you what the tank looks like currently before we put the Tesla lights on. And you can see here, Joanna did a great job. I'll put a card in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. If you wanna see how she did this rescape, she actually did a couple others when she did this video. Now this tank looks awesome. What's running right now in terms of lights is a couple of 48 inch fluorescent lights. And I love the scape that she did. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what the difference is when we hook up these Kessel lights. So I wanted to show you just real quick what that bracket looks like when it's inside the tank. That little white piece of plastic actually goes under the lip of the tank. This is obviously a tank with a rim. This is what's gonna help hold the whole gooseneck and bracket into place. So I just wanted to show you that real quick and how it screws in. So this is what the tank looks like when we've got the yellows all the way up. So it's a very relaxed, warm sort of feel to the water. What I wanna do is I wanna show you the other extreme, what happens when we turn the blues all the way up. And again, the great thing about these lights and one of the features that I enjoy is the fact that you can adjust the light and the types of light that you're getting on a spectrum just by turning the dial. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn the blues all the way up so we can see what that looks like. All right, so here's what I've done, and I don't know how good a job the camera is picking this up, but now we've got the blues all the way turned up. It's a much cooler looking feel to the tank. We're still getting the awesome shimmering effect, but the color of the light is a little bit more intense. It's a little bit of a cooler feel to it and you just choose the colors that you think are gonna look best in your tank for the fish that you have, for the plants that you have. I think in the end, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select a light spectrum somewhere in the middle so it's not super cool, but it's not super warm either. 
All right, so this is the Kessel A160WE. Let's talk a little bit about some of the highlights and also the price and what you're getting for that. So this light is not cheap. It is a high-end light. You're looking at somewhere on Amazon right now about $240 per light. If you want that gooseneck adapter, that's another $42 or $43 or so. And the other thing that you can get is you can actually get a spectral controller that will hook directly into the light and this will allow you to set a gradient. You can have the light turn on at different intensities over time so you can set a day-night cycle. It serves as a timer. It's got a nice touch feature. I will put all of those things in the description below so you have access to that if you want to purchase it or if you want more information. Now this light has gotten excellent reviews for a very good reason. If you look at the tank, again that's shimmering, you just don't get that with most other standard strip type of LED lights. It's going to work really well on plants. Now in terms of how many you need, depending on the size of the tank, I think one of these lights would work really well on a tank that is 24 inches or less. I think the moment you get into about 36 inches or greater, so maybe a 40 breeder or anything like a 55 or the 75 like we have here behind us, you're gonna want at least two of these so that you get the full illumination of your tank. So after setting up this light, what do I like about it? One, obviously the shimmering effect. That is one of the main reasons why you would get a higher end light like this. The light is very awesome in terms of being able to adjust the color, whether you want to go really cool or really warm or somewhere in between. You can also adjust the light intensity and those knobs are high quality and they're very sensitive. The other cool thing is of course the features that come with the light. If you were to get that spectral controller sold separately, then you can start to really mess with the settings in terms of having the light ramp up and then ramp down and do the day and night settings and look at the intensity a little bit more. You can put those lights in tandem, which is pretty cool as well. Now, if there's one thing I do wish on that spectral controller, I wish it was Wi-Fi. That would be an awesome feature, an awesome upgrade right now. The only way it's powered is when you hook it up into the wall. Now, it is cool because it comes with a magnetic backing and you can actually screw that in the wall and leave it hardwired into your lights. But it would be a nice feature if we could get that Wi-Fi controlled with the lights, especially if we could do it with our phone. That would be an awesome upgrade. Now, what I plan to do is I will do an update review a little bit later, maybe in six months or so, just kind of give you an update as to how the light is holding up, anything that we've noticed with more experience, but so far, it's been a great light. So if you enjoyed this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.